Hello everyone. <laughs> it says hello actually, good timing. Uh, so this is a hobby that got a bit of out of hand I think. Uh, originally I got many years ago this uh, bicolor matrix. Um, you write to it by doing each uh, line at a time while putting the colors that you need on the rows and then you scan very quickly. Um, and you can actually see on this tricolor one uh, how it works. This is one line at a time you can see and in each color, so actually you have to do 24 scans to get an entire frame. And it's being done quicker and quicker so you can see over time what it looks like. So for that, I wrote a few display demos using the Adafruit GFX library. And basically the code I wrote was to write a driver for those and plug into the excellent, I really mean excellent, Adafruit GFX library that allows you to do uh, circles, squares, lines, and I added um, multicolored PixMap uh, support uh, to this. So those is are single color, uh, and you just select which color you want. But then I want to have multicolored PixMaps, and that's what I added. Um, so those are the basically scanning old way of doing it. And it was a lot of fun with double quotes in the air to write the drivers for that. Okay, so those are tricolor matrices again. Okay, so now can we do better? Well, yes, we can. Uh, with newer pixels, it's a lot easier to just uh, have one color per pixel. There's no more scanning, rows and columns. You just say, this pixel is that color. And uh, Adafruit has a very nice uh, new matrix library, which allows you to, again, plug the GFX library into that driver. And now you can write um, a pix map, tricolor again here. It's off by one pixel because you can see it's 7 by 7 instead of 8 by 8. But that's the point is my demo takes care of whatever size you have. Um, and it will uh, change some pix maps uh, to display a portion of it. And when it's actually something being drawn, it will draw it to the correct size. Like here, it will uh, draw lines and adjust to the size so that the square is square. All right, so 7 by 7 is not very big though, but that was a way to show how it works. So we can do better, of course. This is 16 by eight, same new pixels, same driver. Uh, so my code will display uh, uh, so 16 by eight here. It will actually detect and adjust and display uh, the size and where that will fit. Um, when it can display more than one eight by eight pixel map, it will display two at a time. Here the lines and the panels are being changed to the right uh, size of the screen. Those are circles being drawn. Of course, they don't look so good, but you get the idea. And I'll show you another one here. This one is 12 by 12. Uh, you can see it's actually scrolling a 24 by 24 pix map. And it's trying to display it by just panning around. Same thing that's happening here. So that way you can display something bigger that doesn't fit on the screen. All right. But can we do better? Well, since I had written all that code, I found this in my drawers, which I bought ages ago. It's a RGB panel uh, that I got from Adafruit. This one is 32 by 16. Um, and it works like my old uh, matrices, where you actually have to do row scanning. And the code is very complicated, actually. It's uh, very time critical. And the way they get colors is just like my code, um, instead of RGB, of course, have three colors, but if you want multiple, uh, mixes of those, you want more or less of those RGB. Uh, so the way it's done is by page flipping, by displaying the red once, twice, or eight times per second, or not by second, by refresh. And that way you can get uh, multiple uh, levels of red, of blue and green. And I'm very impressed with the code that was written for that. Uh, kudos uh, for this. So again, same same code, it will just adjust and do the right thing. Here it knows it can display eight pix map, eight pix maps, so it will do so, do that. And uh, the lines and boxes will just uh, be adjusted. All right, can we do bigger? Of course we can. And there we go. That's 24 by 24. Uh, again, this is using, um, I'm actually zoom out a little bit so you can see the other ones running. This is using newer pixels again. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was a disaster well, not a disaster, but it was very time consuming to solder. Uh, it took half a day, but basically a bunch of NeoPixels, uh, I think it's 576, and you can do this. 
Um, again, demo will actually adjust to the screen size and it will do the right scrolling uh, to adjust to do the number of pixels that can be displayed on each display. So really this is more about the demo that I wrote uh, originally again for that very old driver uh, I had at the time and then making use of the new pixel um, matrix driver that was written by Adafruit. The driver for this panel that was also written by Adafruit and just showing that the same code can be run on all of them. There you go. I hope you enjoy the code and you can run on your own uh, displays and projects.